Hello and welcome to Mass Effect 3, where last time we had fun uh, rescuing people from Thassia, as well as uh, kicking Cerberus' ass on some uh, on some fighter uh, jet planet, uh, well not the fire jet planet, but a fighter jet base on Novaria, so that was good. And now we run into, I forgot we had Miranda come aboard, so let's have a chat. Shepard, there you are. Yeah. Feeling better? I am. I'm feeling good. Are you doing hardcore that gaming? happen every day. I'm glad you made it. I'm not sentimental, but it was hard to be away from here. Surprised myself how attached I got. Welcome aboard. Thank you. It means a lot. Is he? Actually, I'm a bit pressed at the moment. Rain check? I'll let you work. Okay, what do we have here? Okay. Assignment, Miranda Cell. Okay, so we can retrieve some stuff here. Helmet and this thing. anti Cerberus missions. Oh yeah, baby. I'd like that. Let's see, did we get some money? I think we did. Hmm. Randall S. Uh, no, was a senior operative for the enlistment of powerful biotic and combatants. When he discovered Cerberus was experiment Reaper implant, he broke free and escaped the base known as the Barn. Killing most of its occupants in the process. Ah, I think we ran into that base. As not turned himself to the alliance. He's currently under arrest. He has been supplying an information uh, task force. We'll make an ideal member to the team. Highly skilled, extremely motivated, however. He is under strict guard. Getting to him is likely to prove impossible. Diplomatic channels between Miranda and the uh, alliance anti service task force are problematic. Funding is needed to attempt to persuade a few alliance... Uh, yeah, let's fund that. The SSV Ares. Sanctuary required constant resupply in order to maintain the illusion of safety and peace. After analyzing the data uncovered on Horizon, particularly the ship departures and the arrivals, we managed to find something that might be worth investigating. We discovered the SSV Ares. It's a Cerberus supply vessel. Was regularly used to ferry goods and people and prisoners. Capturing the vessel will most likely give us data on precious routes, stop uh, stops and cargo. Not to mention deny the enemy supply to the enemy. Its flight schedule is suggested will soon be needed to discharge, and the most likely is the Capra Verge. Tactical assessment: medium risk. It seems traveling without an escort. The team would likely be assaulted if an attempt to take it over. This will have to be done quickly and quietly. Probably near the relay. If given the chance, the ship could jump to FDL and we will be lost. Let's fund that mission. Mission underway. Okay, then Miranda just goes and handles it on her own. Alright. So she has her own little Cerberus operations going on. That's interesting. Also a mod edition, very nice. Commander. Nothing from you, Commander. trainer? No? Okay. Any emails? Nope. Spectre stuff. Subject, Randall as no. You have a lot of gall asking us to tell us our best intel asset. A veteran Cerberus agent with detailed knowledge of Cerberus tactics and facilities and locations. Whom accidentally is also being charged for the abduction of dozens of alien citizens and murders of courageous Turian soldiers on behalf of Cerberus. And you expect me to hand him over to you? A wanted fugitive and a senior operative of the organization that I am working to destroy? I don't know what kind of deal you pulled with Hackett, but if it wasn't, wasn't for his protection, you'd be locked up in the darkest hole I could find. Just to be perfectly clear, there's no way in hell I'm going to give you Esno. Well, let's authorize that he will. Also, yes, let's customize the Normandy a bit. Do we still have roles that need filling? I think we're... 
pretty good. So we can't chase these, change these. Could switch to chief engineer apparently. No, I like Adams in charge. Tali can do other things. That way there's sort of at least a dedicated uh, executive officer. Ah, I guess we could make Miranda the executive of officer again. But you know what? No, I like Garrus. Tempted to make Joker. But Garrus is fine. Yeah, I'm just fine with uh, things as they are. Ooh, we can actually upgrade this thing. I see no reason why not to make it stronger. And yeah, I want this uh, ugly, ah, good, we have an alliance uh, dragonfly now. Cerberus Atlas? No, we can change that too, I think. Let's make this a CAT Atlas. I don't know what good that all will be, but uh, I'm sure it's fine. Can we make something cool here? We can put more atlases in there, but I think I will stick with uh, just mere heavy max, yes. Can you do anything with this? Okay, I guess this is just decoration here. I guess that's less uh, like ability for the alliance with more uh, Stuff for Commander. Stuff. So you have nothing new? What are you thinking about, Edie? The holographic theory of existence posits we are just two-dimensional information painted on the cosmological horizon. Yes, you're in However, a computer game! However, the holographic game. consciousness I recognize as myself is only able to perceive matter and energy. Thus I am able to theorize the true nature of existence but never experience it. Possibly even the Reapers are limited this way. Okay. Bad question. Hello, Shepard. I think it's a good question. Because you cannot face the true infinity of the universe of gaming there, Pi. You do not understand the full potential of video games. Let's see if Gary has something to say. About smoting that uh, Cerberus fighter base, ha huh? Oh, there is. Katie Can't Maxson. talk right now. That's a lie. I can hear you talk right now. I am getting the feeling that there aren't any going to be any new machines. carbon or silicon. Is there really a difference? Okay. People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence is programmed. Punch me, I get Ooh, angry. Epic I don't choose. Debate. I just get angry. Our emotions are programming. That's not the same thing. Our emotions are a natural response. Disease, parasites, lions ate their prey alive. Nature can be horrible. So now you're siding with the Reapers? Just because I'm saying the Reapers are alive doesn't mean I want them to stay that way. 
but we need to break free of nature and open our minds to new forms of life. Ooh. So you believe the Geth share the same rights and liberties as any organic being? This is an interesting that debate. Geth is minding his own business. He has more rights than Cerberus. Despite my disgust for Cerberus, they're still human. The Geth are just machines. We're all machines. Carbon or silicon. Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. I am Artificial totally side. I don't know if Pi was sides with uh, me, I get angry. Adams here, but I, I personally angry. was Our fully side with Adams here. I fully agree that uh, humans and animals are just biological yes, machines and honestly Parasites. not that different Why from uh, from uh, silicon or other forms of life. So now your side Genetics don't make us alive. It's our self-awareness, curiosity, and capacity to evolve. Well put, Commander. Of course you'd say that. You two are practically machines yourselves. Ooh, how snide. Good, uh, good discussion there. At your service. Hey, Lara. Hello, Shepard. Hey, Lara. Hello, Shepard. Hey, Lara. Hello, Shepard. Hey, Lara. Hello, Shepard. Hey, okay, that's enough of that. It's not as cool as uh, Shepard and Rex. I don't think there actually is that much news going on on the ship. I'll give Gary a shot, but if he also is like, I have nothing new, then we're just going to head him out into space, because I think there's more Cerberus base we can crush! Maybe later. Yeah, more Cerberus base we can crush! I don't know if we can personally crush, but uh, definitely, uh, yeah, send other people to crush. What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of the women! Especially Dr. Chakwas! I don't know why I said that one. Alright, so yes, we have Minuteman Station. Let's see what this... Uh Signal confirmed. Hello there, Cerberus assholes. So this does look a lot like the base uh, I think Pi was rebuilt in by Cerberus, but that can't be because that base blew up. Steel Core, SCG infiltration team ready. Protocol hacks are up in place, disabling our stations out of defenses, accessing advanced warning systems. Feet. All fleets, stand clear. You're clear to pass through the relay. Six fleet reporting, taking positions to secure the relay. Attack fleet in position, weapons are hot. Birds are in the air, engaging, incoming, Cerberus patrols. Slaring fleets are in position and ready. More, more spec core. Normally standing by. Too bad this place has uh, had so many windows. Would have much have made it so much easier. If these people were Gaff, ah, Gaff, not these windows. And seven spec war group. And seven teams are locked and loaded. Override are working. Asteroid defenses are, are down in sector one through six. Sector seven has adapted to our countermeasures. Remodulating now. Acknowledge, Hagor. Taking fire from the server's defense platforms in sector seven. Keep your eyes open, those platforms have some serious firepower. Bangkok is taking damage. Bangkok is being banked. <laughs> Sector 7 cleared. Platforms offline. Uh, these protocols are quite impressive. Well done, Agor. Gate Crasher, you're up. Ready the shuttles for boarding. Standing by. We're bring, we'll bring you back a souvenir. Cerberus patrols have been eliminated. Moving up to just outside the station's weapon range. Accessing staging protocols, selling inter sealing internal compartments, locking the anchor down anchor space, disable defense systems. Missile fire incoming from all from the stations. Evasive maneuvers. Ego, we could use a little help here. Attempting bypass shunt. Stand by. Edie, piggyback onto the SCG Citadel. Time for a little abracadabra. Confirmed. Station protocol have activated. Shuttle bay door bay doors are opening. 
Attention detecting enemy, enemy vessels. Arriving at FTL, sector 974. Appear to be cruisers. All six, all six FTL. We see them. Moving to intercept. We'll give them something to worry about. Dispatching additional ships uh, to assist. Gate crashing. Time to kick in the door. Copy that. Top bird, all platoons deployed. Encountering little resistance. First the docking bay secured. Good work. Deploying secondary teams to fortified positions. We got, uh, we got our foothold. Deploying STG team Manavai. To care of those cruisers, minimal losses. Zone 8 and D's are captured. Remote lockdowns of the station farms are making it a lot easier to sweep. Resistance has been the fair for a variable. Looks like Intel vs. X servers offered this for solid. Edie, picking up activity on the auxiliary controls. Looks like they're attempting to start a core overload. Gate Crasher, we have gained the control of the environmental system. All units, buckets on. It's about to get frosty. Igor, activate all remaining bulkheads in the unsecured areas to fend the, to fend the Atmo. Ventilation complete, restoring atmosphere to compartments. Top bird. We've got a lot of prisoners here. Going to need some marines to round them up. Acknowledge gates key. Great crusher. Marines detachment en route. Wow, that's a long one. We also have teams reporting hangar 4 and 5 uh, contain a Normandy class ship. Told to, we were about to bring back a souvenir. Oh! That's what it reminds me of. This was uh, like the base you went to after the Normandy was, uh, was restored. Like right before you got it back. So yeah, that's, that's right. You hear that, Edie? Your big sister. Mac is gonna love this. Zones A to F are captured. Minimal casualties. Igor, thanks for the assist. A lot of you guys, guys up here want to buy you drinks. Of course, had to be us. All ships stand down, defense level yellow. Station and allied control. Good work, everyone. Sounds like this operation went really solidly. Probably because we got like a lot of stuff there, so that's nice. So hurrah, we have more Normandies now. Okay, bunch of updates. Let's see if there's stuff here, but I doubt it, I guess. Yeah, no stuff here. And it does show at 100%. Okay then. Now we could head to the Elusement base, but I want to see some more servers operations completed. I want to see uh, the Elusement watch his entire operations crumble! Just before he dies. So what do we got? Uh, Shadow C is at 66%. Was that always the case? Or did something change? I found something. Something did change, else we would have discovered this. Watchman. What is on this planet? A detailed scan of the relay station shows electronic signatures, automated defenses, and advanced rampart max. Scans show how little team show a little small team is preparing to attack the facility. They took uh, they look lightly armed and may not know if they hidden defenses. Can we do something about this? I guess not. I'm guessing this might be related to the server stuff that uh, Miranda is handling. Commander. Is Miranda back yet? Doesn't seem to be the case directly now. Wonder how long you have to wait for missions to finish. 
that's mission funded. Let's see, is there anything in my assignment log that I can check out? Okay, what do we have? Um, Alpha Centauri. Ah, yeah, dropping those beacons. It's time to capsule to guide to the next cycle to report travel to Alpha Centauri to place the first beacon. Step to our collective shadow. Okay, I would love to do that. Where do I go for that? I think we did see some information. Yeah, we should also start returning to the Citadel, probably in the next episode. Handing in a lot of stuff we have. Commander. But first we can place Layara's beacon, that, that seems like a good idea to do. So we need to look for the Alpha Centauri sector. I love that game, Alpha Centauri, it's really good. Sadly it doesn't look so good or play terribly modern. But it is a very cool game. Would that be in the local cluster? I would guess so. Alpha Centauri is not that far from Earth, I believe. Yeah, Alpha Centauri, there it is. There it is. Lilith. Mouse's wound. Yeah, let's find a good spot to dump down that beacon. Carrot beacon placed. One thing done, that was fairly easy. Any other things we can do? Lots of things. Okay, Spectre Kirik Beacon. Um, blah, blah, blah. Now travel to the area in the Casper Verge for to place the second. Alright! Seems like we're going to go on a little galactic field trip to dump all flags everywhere or more like we have we, we were here signs was that not soul i guess this is soul Okay, Casper Verge, where was that? I think it was somewhere over here. Or was in the upper sector? I guess it was somewhere up here then. This was definitely Mass Effect 1 territory, I remember that much. Casper Verge! Thing to explore, so easy enough. Ah, okay. Hello there, tiny little moon. Alpa. Oh, you're not even a moon, you're an asteroid rock. Did we place it? Looks like. I don't know. Okay, guess that was, was planned. Next one. The Yog Beacon. Corfi system in the Shadow Sea. Alright then. I think we've been to the Shadow Sea a few times to try and find stuff, but never found uh, what we were supposed to do there. Guess this answers it. Mm -hmm. 
Shadow Sea, it's somewhere over here. Weren't we just there for a thing? I seem to remember we were just there for a thing. Huh. there. Anything we can do with the station? No? Okay then. So Parnak I imagine is the Yark homeworld. Yeah, so this is the Yark. It's the big scary shadow broker monsters. And they were quite intelligent, so I'm guessing if uh, they can make it through this uh, harvest they might be quite dominant species on the next one you exit the shuttle the Aris beacon held uh, in your hands and feet crushing relief course frosted three wind tears around you as you scare, stare out across the ar desolate arctic landscape plumes of steam are expelled through the atmosphere Beyond that, uh, Parnax Crest's horizon, the Yark homeworld. Intelligence, tenacious and vicious. Consummate predators with unrivaled mental adaptability and strength. The Yark uh, obsess about control and uh, attain dominance through brutality with no concept of equality. Every encounter with them has ended, in, ended with cruelty and subjugation. The Council has declared Parnak off-limits for a reason. The consequence of the, so your decisions are enormous. Do you place the beacon and curse the next cycle to servitude and violence under the Yark, but with the hope of victory, or do you leave them as primitives and hope that other aliens will uh, have the will to defeat the Reapers if you should fail? Ah, uh, place the beacon. Look, it's a long time, maybe they can change. Maybe uh, it's just what the guys need. Like the profins were not uh, seem to be fairly obsessed with strength and dominance. So sorry about that. Slight hiccup. Okay, uh, let's exit. I'm not doing my controls well today. Okay, let's see what we still have to do. Are there still beacons we need to place? Simon around the cell. No, I think most. Uh... Most of the. Uh, yeah. Stuff is handled right now. So, I think next time we'll be delivering a lot of stuff to. Uh to the citadel for now i am going to call this an episode so until the next one where we return what the fuck just happened there oh well but we return to the citadel till then bye bye